something that's absolutely unforgivable is people who play the victim card while living in America. You live in the freest, safest country in the world, and you have the nerve to play the victim card? You realize there's, there, there, there are slave traders in Africa right now. Look it up. Look up that video of all, the, all the, those African slaves at an auction. That's going on right now. And you have the nerve to be complaining about racism in America? I got news for you, dumb. Every yes, black people are ready to hang this white girl because she said the n-word in a video. Why do we act so weak and fragile? We are ready to burn it all down over a white girl saying our word, but then we silent when politicians send 100 bill to foreign countries. That is according to the person who sent this video out. I got news for you, dumb. Everybody has happened to everybody. Everybody's had a hard time in life. It's not, you're not unique, okay? You're not unique because you belong to a minority or you're a woman. We're all lucky as shit to be born in this country. That's the exception. I'm the rule. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke out. So a recent video of mine seems to have um, upset members of a certain community and it this um, all the backlash just really made me, you know, just really do a deep dive, like do a soul search. And after all that, I still couldn't find a care. You're going to call us racist. You're going to call us potential Timothy McVeigh's. You. The reactions I've seen on social media partaken to this girl saying the N word is concerning. I understand sometimes people do take up certain decisions without actually even knowing what they are doing. This girl made it clear like, I will not apologize. Do whatever thing you want to do. I don't want to talk much. There is another video I'm going to play so you will see exactly what is going on. But before I do, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. It will do you no harm if you share out this video. I give my criticisms to all because we are all about equity and inclusion here, right? So I'm sick and tired of all girls getting blamed or like guys, certain guys, thinking that all girls are gold diggers. I don't know if it's because you get your information from those street interviews in like Miami at 3 a.m. outside of a nightclub. You're getting the opinion of some dumb whores and uh, immigrants fresh off the boat looking for a green card. Yes, they are probably gold diggers, but that's the exception. I'm the rule. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke ass ass. Um, and they don't care. We don't give a f about your money. I couldn't care less about your f money, okay? My type is broke mechanics and surfer hippie dudes who just want to live in a shack and surf and have babies. All I ask of a man is that you're competent, you're, um, you're not a If somebody broke into our house at 3 a.m., you would know how to grab a gun and shoot a that's that's pretty much all we ask. Like that's most all. That's pretty much like all girls I know. I don't know one girl who's a gold digger. So stop throwing us all under the bus as if we're all gold diggers because we don't give a. F I don't give a f about your money. My dating history consists of all broke guys. I actually don't even like rich guys. They have an attitude. They're spoiled brats. They don't know anything about real life. I was raised on a farm with four brothers, so I can't deal with the bulls. I don't like a p I hate p So stop with the gold digger. Stop. Yeah, someone said not letting people say a certain word because of the color of their skin is tyrannical racism. Change my mind. That is someone responding to this and it is concerning. Like I said at the beginning of this video, 
when I usually see this topic, the N word, then I usually ask myself, why, why should there be a particular word that some group of people should never use? It seems to have um, upset members of a certain community, and it this um, all the backlash just really made me, you know, just really do a deep dive, like do a soul search, and after all that. I still couldn't find a care. So y'all remember this girl, you know, the girl that decided that, you know, she's going to tell a story and call everybody her friends were dating some broke ass ninjas. Yeah. Guess what happened? They fired her ass. <laughs> they blew up her job. They found out where she worked and they blew up her job, baby. And she doubled down. This was her double down video because they made her take the other video down. But she had the nerve to double down and didn't think nobody was going to find you and locate your job. I even called your job. I sure did. I called it. That thing is blocked. You can't even leave a message. They blew up your job. She this is what happens when you spew hate on the internet. It lasts forever. Good luck finding another job. Because as soon as they see your face and other people see your face, they're going to come back to these videos that are saved forever and people sh and you're going to lose that job too because no one wants a racy individual at their establishment. And this is exactly why I think we should share that. Whenever somebody want to get racist and stupid on the internet, let's share that as much as we can because yes, I understand what like people were saying, "Hey, block it and ignore it." Yeah, but that won't really give it comp consequences, you know what I'm saying? Other than like, yeah, you're not giving it attention, but it ain't going away. And I mean, hey, it's still not going away, but at least she ain't got her job now. I'm, I'm much happier than ignoring her now. Like, you feel me? This is why I, you, this is why I like expose racists and get them out there. And then I remember seeing her uh, apology video and she's talking about, oh, um, what was it? It is always a problem to me, you know, handling this topic. Though some people say it is their best topic, I just want to express my mind when it concerns this. And if it offends you, please try to reason this out with me. Why should there be a word that a certain group of people should not use? If you are not using it in a context that can hurt another person, to me, that is not a problem. Yeah, you can use it in a different context, you know, to refer to a name, you know, things like that. It should not trigger people like I've seen in the case of this video. I understand people just want, you know, to see certain kind of trend like this and pick up, maybe just to go further on social media. I might have limited knowledge, but taking to this N-word thing, please, if you know more, more than me, I want you to know your opinion, but I can show this on the comment section because when I do videos, when it concerns race, I usually see misreactions from people. This one saying, oh, I'm a sir out, I'm this and that, simply because I follow what I believe in. I took a decision never to even react to videos when it concerns race, but I told myself, why should I? If I see it, I should express myself reasons we talked about free speech and have the right to choose a path to follow it does not mean because i'm a black person i should not be able to talk on things like this that is what some people i know that i used to interact with you know they unsubscribe they laugh because i i wasn't buying up into these ideas so it is high time we Try to reason together, why should there be a word that some people can use? That is what triggered me a lot. I should really care less about this. I don't put my mind into topics like this. You know, when, if you like, you use, you do this. So far, it's not hurting me. That's your problem. Yeah, that is how people should see it. You guys, um, the last thing that I am going to say. All right. I don't think I have done a live on Twitter or a live on X rather in such a long time that you obviously have to know. So what is it that I did that actually upset 